at the good stat with Canadians abroad. I'm here with Charlie Simmer, former NHLer, amazing. And um, first of all, I have a question for you. Uh, in the uh, 1980 and 81 NHL season, you and uh, Mike Bossy went toe to toe for Maurice Richards' 50 goals in 50 games record, which at the time was 36 years old. Um, can you tell us about that experience and what it was like chasing that record? Well, playing in L.A., actually, I didn't really know too much about the record. I mean, it was it was kind of funny until we went back east and got into the uh, hockey markets of Toronto, Montreal. Uh, we really didn't think too much about that, and uh, it was uh, it was it was pretty uh, important feat. I mean, when I grew up, I was thinking if I can score 20 goals in the National Hockey League, I was a pretty good player. So that's something that I uh, I, I I thought I would try to accomplish and to to get a chance to get 50 and 50. That was way beyond my uh, expectations. So. To make a run at it like that with a great player like uh, Mike Bossy, it was something that uh, I was really um, I'm, I was excited to do. I mean, I, I mean, I look back at my career. I was I was a, a too slow minor leaguer that probably should never play in the National Hockey League. And to make a run at that, it was uh, pretty exciting. There were three hockey movies at the Toronto Film Festival this year: uh, Breakaway, with Russell Peters, and I saw Goon. Personally, I haven't seen that movie, but I've I've read some uh, some reviews on it, and I I think it's some it's an era that I lived in. I grew up in, I played in the uh, National Hockey League in the 70s and 80s, and and that was a big part of the game was was the goonery or the physical hockey or the aggressive hockey player, a goon if you want to call it, and and I think it's it, it's part of the game, not to the point the extent that it was in the 70s and 80s, but physical hockey. It's part of the uh, gladiator type of uh, mentality that we grew up in um, to play hockey and to play tough hockey. It, it's a matter of just uh, playing together. So it, it, I think it should stay in the game as far as the, uh, the fisticuffs and the fighting, but to a certain extent. As a former uh, California SEAL and Cleveland Baron, and with the return of the Winnipeg Jets, is there an NHL team that's now extinct that you would like to see make a comeback, whether it be for at their jersey or just for their logo or even just because you love the team? Well, I, I, I think it's pretty spectacular that the Winnipeg Jets came back. That, I mean, that's phenomenal. I, I went from uh, Oakland and we went to Cleveland Barons. We were only there two years. Um, I, I think the only team that I really like to see is the Quebec Nordiques back. I think it's phenomenal uh, what they did in Quebec and Quebec's such a great city and and the way they love and the passion that they love their hockey and uh, unfortunately the year that they left Quebec they won the Stanley Cup in Colorado so that's how close they were so I, I like to see them come back in the league. Well Charlie thank you so much for chatting with us today with Canadians Abroad. Well, <laughs> and it's uh, very exciting to be here obviously to come to, to uh, Palm Springs and Palm Desert and uh, to be in this environment it's been great. Good luck in the golf tournament. Yeah, it's irrelevant. We're just going to play fun. <laughs> We're going to play golf, have fun, and raise as much money as we can. Thank you. You've been watching Canadians Abroad, and I'm Samantha Goodstar. Wow.